today is special seminar with the bread contrast in Oahu. And I'm on the way to hit Ika Ika Classic Factory to meet the bread and all the friends. And I have something on my lip, which is I feel absolutely sad about. It's something got on my lip. But anyways, I'm gonna wear a mask and have absolutely fun time. It's going to be all about glutes groups. We're gonna have a QA, we're gonna have a seminar about an hour and about an hour practice in the gym. And I'm super excited that Brad is here. He is the glutes guy and we met with him in Los Angeles in Iron Fitness and I already took the one of the seminars he did right there. Say hi to Andrew and I was miss bread contrast hip trust machine and they order it to the island and I got it and now bread is here whoa which is incredible so I hope you're gonna enjoy some sneak peek on the backstage of the seminar I don't know how much they allow me to do the video hopefully I can film everything for you guys and yeah see you in a little bit here they asked me to don't make videos before we don't actually supposed to have a life so I could make videos a couple videos for you guys but not live and this is what I will do hopefully they're not gonna kick me out uh, thank you very much for attending and I hope you get your money's worth uh, so I'm gonna get started if you can't hear me just tell me to repeat it or you know I'm trying to talk as loud as I can. I should have had like a microphone or something, but um, anyway. Also, I want to say thank you to the here. <laughs> yeah. All right. Thanks to all the people I picked up for letting this. Is that how you say it? Kaika. Kaika. Eat Kaika. Or, you know, allowing this. Because I was just. Uh, I hate the cold, and I'm like, Matt, I'm going to come visit. And Matt's is like, maybe you can do a seminar. And I'm like, there's like two weeks away. And then he's like, well, let's try. So we, we pulled it off. So very. Anyway, uh, I'm honored to be able to teach you. The Hawaiian people, most of you are probably trainers. Raise your hand if you're a trainer. Okay, yeah, most of you are trainers. So that's how it trickles down. And I love to see my methods around the world. So thank you guys for attending. Let's get started. Um, and I want to thank my videographer Alex for letting us use a picture of his glutes. 484 percent difference. So here's the problem. Start uh if people would put glute to the end, they thought I had like lost my mind, but I was like, alright, let's just like let's just uh, remember the article I start out very light. Exercise. Deadlifts. Well, I need to know what load she's using. How many hard sets of, how she's my strongest deadlift? How many hard sets of deadlifts do you usually do a week? Exercises. Have you ever read an article saying you should rotate exercise around? With like periodization articles and things like that. You can periodize anything. Periodization means planning. I would get squat two, three times a week. You get my squat time. You know what you ever call it? You know? 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 You Really close to the bottom. Yeah, five reps. Okay, raise your hand high. 
like, if you feel this way more than five, raise your hand high. Is there anyone who felt this more in the glutes this way? There's like 15 of you. You feel this more in your quad. Well, you're bending the knee and shortening the rectus femoris. Yeah, this high linear DMT activity with 13 train women is just about the lowest. The narrow thing is the lowest. Now, did anyone happen to like that? Raise your hand. Yeah, yeah. like eight people. Interestingly, this is Kiara right here. Yeah, look at these glutes. The best glute of them I've seen on someone. I've trained half the world, right? It's half the world type glute. I've trained half the bikini competitors that are popular these days and half the influencers, right? Like, I've met a lot of people, I've seen a lot of people. And this is Kiana's preferred chance. And that gets the lead of Rock Rock. Raise your hand. See? Raise your hand tall. So they sit back, keep their shins perpendicular. That's how you get the most out of your suit. Then raw powerlifting became way more popular in the last decade, which I'm very glad about. Because I hate, I, I don't like wearing stretch shirts. You have to like have 315 on just to touch your chest. You have to like row it to your, to your chest. I don't even think that's, I don't like it, but I'm glad it's out there. It's something for everyone. But anyway, I remember reading this article from Shirley Sung, this physical therapist, she's like, you've got all these dipshit personal trainers out there making their clients squat wide and, and flare their feet. Some people do better putting their feet forward. Some people flare. Some people, it's like different for everyone. And I just remember, I was that dipshit trainer, my poor friend Rob. He just is a narrower, feet straight kind of guy. That's his hip anatomy. And I, I made him for like three years squat white and go, this doesn't feel good. I go, you just gotta get used to it, bro. <laughs> <laughs> so I've learned a lot of, I've made a lot of mistakes over my years. You hate someone teaching you the form has to fit the individual. Now let's get in sideline position. Okay, fine reps. Come up. Now here's what's funny. In theory, if I tell you that the glutes do three things, the glute max has three main actions. Hip extension, hip reduction, hip extension rotation. If you turn your foot up while you do it, shouldn't you feel more glutes because now you're doing extra rotation? Mm -mm. Here's the problem. Turn your foot up. Now <laughs> if you feel no glute, all TFL, you don't like TFL when you do that. Yeah. It's now you're, you're not doing extra rotation against gravity. You're just doing abduction with a foot turn out and you put your TFL in a better position. Do the opposite now and turn your foot down. Point your toe to the ground and do an internal rotation. Two studies show that this leads to greater glute media activity when you turn your foot downwards. Keep it down. Also, what I like about this, if you didn't go as high, it keeps you more honest. When you turn your foot up, you can go way higher. Now, how many people do feel their glute more? When you turn your foot downwards, raise your hand. It's almost all of you. Okay. Um, points of contact are only the elbow and the bottom knee. You come up, freeze as high as you can. Max hip separation, okay? You're not on your hand, you're on your elbow. Some people do like it more from their hand though, but anyway. Then you're gonna do, we're gonna see if anyone can get more <laughs> Now you hold this, you straight this leg, turn this foot down, come down, tap, come up. So the extra range. The bottom leg is holding that specifically, the top leg is just going to tap, I can see your foot like Yes. Like, it's like. I was trying to go with the game for this.
seven and come higher. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, Seven and the eight, and then she's she put them down. She's got an arch still, right? Normally, when I said it looks like she's neutral, she's probably flexed, but we just think it's neutral. But anyway, neutral ish, come up to the top, big squeeze, boom. This is mostly hip hyperextension. Is she hyperextended the spine? Maybe a little bit, but she's not like, like that, you know. She could come up higher, this is just spinal extension, right? She's, she's and so anyway, she'll feel this in her erectors, you can feel this, she'll feel this in glutes, she'll feel this in hamstrings, pulling on the dumbbell. Usually when I do dumbbell work, I have them go like this. Neutral feet, maybe not that high, maybe a little, boom. Yeah, maybe head down, just right there. Yeah, just like this. This is how I have them do it. And she's moving through a big range of motion. She'll feel this a lot in her erectors. She'll feel this in the glutes. She'll feel this in the hamstrings. I like holding the dumbbell this way, like this, kind of thing. This. Now, one thing you want to make sure is that when you set a PR, it's not because you just started holding the dumbbell lower, like there. <laughs> Putting it closer to the hip joint center, which reduces the moment on, right? You want to make sure you keep it in a similar place. Now, that. Round everything. When you round everything, what is the, literally the name of this muscle is the erector. You're not erecting. You're going to keep it rounded. If you keep it rounded, it's not working. It's not activated. And these, these are not on right now. They're not activated. So this, you're not going to have much compressive. People look at it and go, oh my god, that's going to kill your spine. No, it won't. It's just like bending over and picking something up. They're not activated. There's no compressive force. It's not dangerous for the discs. So you stay around. It's really hard for some people to do. Whenever I'm a trainer, I get somebody who does this on their first try. I'm like, yes. It's some, I've had people out two months in. I'm like, I just like give up. I don't, I don't ever show them my frustration. It's how bad, how bad was such a good client. And have your trainer be like, Jesus, <laughs> just do something else. You never want to do that. You may do it. You, 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 sometimes I just pretend like the form is good. Yes, it's not going to be really good, you know? But anyway, most people, come to the top, Kiana, most people can't do this. They have to do this. They can't uncouple hip extension with spinal extension. They can't do it. And you're like, no. So here's some cues that help. You say, here's your rib cage, here's your pelvis. You're, you're rounded over, I do not want that distance to change. I want the distance from your rib cage to pelvis to remain the same throughout the movement. That works well. Another, I want you to swivel through the hips. Think of your back is just rounded and you're just moving through the hips. Think of a, a bar through your hips and you're just swiveling about that. Another cue, pump the pad. Drive your hips into the pad. Uh, what else do I say? Don't unravel. I say don't unravel the spine. Okay. And then sometimes I'll cue tuck the chin a little too because that helps some people. Anyway, go for it. Oh, another thing, real quick. <laughs> Kiana's not doing this now because she doesn't like, remember when I told her? She likes to turn her feet inwards. But the research shows that most people, Kiana's not one of them, do way better when they flare the feet out. I'm not talking 45 degrees, even more. This feels weird for Kiana. She doesn't know how to do it. There, you want to be like that. She won't like this as much, though. This is more like 70 degrees flare. Some people, even want to put their feet like flat. I tell people mostly 45 degrees, go for it. Okay? And this, when you have the feet turned out, it activates, it's going to do several things. It works more lateral hamstrings, less medial hamstrings, and more glute. But you can see here, you see this posterior pelvic tilt. It's like the whole body is working. Now, does this work more glute? More, more glute? Probably, probably a little more glute activity and a little more lateral hamstring, a little less. Um, inner hamstring, medial hamstring, but here's the deal. When is she going to stop doing the set? Kevin, don't put your feet straight the way you like to do it. When is, when is the set going to end? It's not going to be because her erectors are fatigued. 
So for the first time, some people do this and be like, wow, I finally feel like it's a more of a hip extensor exercise rather than a pure posterior chain because it takes the erectors out of it. Okay, so extension is just through the spine. That's just spinal extension. So we're taking the spinal erectors out of the equation and making it more of a clear exercise. This exercise gets very high glute EMG, uh, really high, probably second to hip thrust in, in EMG, glute EMG activity, activity. And you can, we do these two ways, we load these behind them. Okay, you can see that. Thank you. <laughs> never gets easy. Three by 20 with like 90 seconds to two minutes of rest is hard to do. There's also a V-stance hip thrust, okay? Hey guys, so the glute slab just finished. 
not the glute swap, the seminar from the busy Brad. I have a really nice time. I uh, talked to the Brad and trying to push him to open glute swap on Hawaii and hopefully it's gonna happen sometime. <laughs> I don't know yet. It's a lot of information. It was an amazing seminar. I enjoyed it so much. I was trying to put the content for you and make as much videos as I can.